The Last of Us Part 2 is undeniably the most controversial video game ever released. The whole internet is divided on this game, with a lot of people loving this game and a lot of people actually hating this game with a passion. And also, there are actual people out there that hate this game so much that their whole YouTube channels, for example, are based on hating The Last of Us and Naughty Dog in every way possible. And if you know who I might be talking about, then yeah, <laughs> you know. But it's kind of sad to see that literally people devote themselves to actually spread intentional toxicity to stay relevant or become popular in this platform. But that's a whole other level of hatred and I myself will never understand that and it's just not something I go for personally of course. So in this video what we're going to do is point out reasons why people actually hate this game so much and explain for those who actually like this game so they can understand the points of views of people that do not like The Last of Us Part 2. And don't worry, I will make a video after this one in which I will explain why people love The Last of Us Part 2. So I'll make this one first, that why people hate it, and the next one is going to be why people love it. So enough talking with you guys about this, and let's get started with a few reasons why people hate The Last of Us Part 2. Reason number six, messy story. One of the biggest criticisms this game gets is that the story of The Last of Us Part 2 was horrendously structured and it made it impossible for some people to even feel for Abby and everyone in her part of the game. You see, when you play as Ellie for the first 10 hours of the game to get revenge on Abby for killing Joel and then finally encountering Abby in the theater, only then to be forced to play as Abby for the next 8 to 10 hours and see her perspective on all of this, and because she killed Joel, a beloved character, many people were disgusted because they had to play as Abby and with Naughty Dog's decision to make us play as Abby and see through her perspective. And gamers just did not want to go through that. I mean, it's just not your typical game in which you have a hero and then a villain. In this case, Naughty Dog is forcing you to go through the perspective of Abby to actually show you that there's no villain in this world. It's just the consequences of everyone's actions that we go through things and that Abby just reacted to what happened to her father and Ellie is reacting to what Abby did to her father figure in Joel. So, it's something that you know has a deeper meaning but it just did not sit right with a lot of people also by this game having two climaxes basically the first climax in which abby and ellie encounter each other for the first time on ellie's perspective and then the second time when you encounter ellie and abby in the second time around with abby's perspective that was just a little bit too much for a lot of people and just the way this story was structured it's just not for everyone reason number five fabricated hate okay Let's be honest here, you and me. This game and those who develop this game get more hate than it actually deserves, right? Correct me if I'm wrong, but is it normal for games to have over 143 user review scores on Metacritic filled with the most stupidest negative and positive reviews out there? Uh, no, <laughs> I don't think so. And this all started with a lot of negative ones like these, just exactly the same day it was released. And this is all the results of a lot of big influential content creators who lean more onto the anti-SJW group who are just as bad as the SJWs themselves for the way these people act and the, tr and the way they're trying to basically shove down your throats, their own views, politics, and all that stuff. And, you know, these are the type of people that were trying to create the narrative that this game is just full SJW propaganda trying to shove wokeness down our throats with supposed unrealistic big women and lesbians and all that stuff. They made it seem like this game was just a homosexual promotion and that Joel died because Naughty Dog was like, you know what, men are bad, women are good. And a good chunk of the negative opinions of this game literally repeats the same things a lot of content creators were fabricating for weeks. That narrative has truly attracted some homophobics and some transphobics to the discussions of people basically having on social media about The Last of Us Part 2 in a negative or positive way and seeing if they liked it or disliked the game. This whole situation is a big mess and it's very hard to actually find people out there that have played this game and that have genuine opinions about this game, good or bad. Now we only see a lot of people who are just insulting each other and it's just very hard to open a conversation to see everyone's points of views of this game. 
And also, because there's so much hate in the internet surrounding this game, a lot of actors and developers and directors like for example Neil Druckmann and Laura Bailey for example, have faced a lot of death threats, a lot of people actually talking so bad about these people, sending them death threats to their kids. Like, it's to a point where it's unacceptable and we are just letting that pass. And shamefully, that is something that a lot of content creators I've been seeing during that time they were just saying that, you know, it's no big deal because they're probably looking for attention on tweeting those things out, saying that they're getting death threats. Like, it's to the point where, like, they hate this game so much, they hate these people so much, they'll actually be inhumane and excuse the behavior of the internet. And it's honestly something that is very despicable, and it's something that I don't see a lot of people calling out. And it really makes me worried because... It just shows me that a lot of people out there are truly, truly despicable and scummy. And it really shames me a lot. But the good thing is that there are still a lot of people that have positivity inside of them that are genuinely good people. Shamefully, we just get outshouted by these despicable human beings. And because of all this, even till this day, we still have people shouting crap about The Last of Us Part 2, even without playing it. And it's all thanks to this fabricated narrative and honestly, it's just brought so much hate and separation to a lot of gamers. It's getting to the point where it's unbearable. And I hope that one day this all stops. Reason number three, the ending. Some people truly hated this ending because a lot of people already hated Abby from the get-go because it was leaked that she killed Joel and, you know, she's a big muscular woman. There was a narrative that, you know, women don't get that big, which they do, they can. And, you know, it's just getting to the point where, you know, people just dislike Abby and wanted her dead. And if Naughty Dog would have made Ellie kill Abby instead of sparing her life and rather lose all her humanity or at least give the player an option to choose and have an alternative ending, most gamers would have actually not hated this game as much as they are right now and would have probably ended up liking it because people just hated Abby for killing Joel. But because Ellie decided to spare Abby's life at the end, even after she lost her father figure in Joel and killed hundreds of people just to get to Abby and not kill her at the end, some gamers felt that they just suffered all game for nothing. And that moves me up to the next reason why people hate this game. This game actually makes you suffer in almost every single corner. And yes, it is intentional, the game is intended for you to suffer, to make you feel trapped, to make you feel these emotions, but not a lot of people want to play games because of that. They want to have fun, they want to feel things, they want to feel some positivity, and The Last of Us Part 1 had that in building up the relationship between Ellie and Joel, but in The Last of Us Part 2, it's mostly just grey, it's mostly just depressing, suffering, and it's just not a game for everyone, and I understand that part for sure. Now, let's talk about why people actually really, really despise this game, and it's the top reason why people hate it, and it's Joel's death. Let's not kid ourselves, if Joel would have died in a heroic way like a lot of people said he needed to die if he was to die, then I think people would have actually liked the other aspects of this game. They wouldn't mind Abby, they probably wouldn't mind Ellie losing herself and kind of not being the same character she was when she was 14 or 15 at the time. They wouldn't care about these things. But because Joel was killed in such a simple way, by a buff woman, some fans immediately could not accept it and went out of their way to basically rampage all over social media. And yes, I get it 100%. Joel was like a father to us. He was my favorite character in any video game ever. We played as him in the first game and his story with Ellie was truly one of, if not the best stories in any video game ever. Probably in any media, actually. It's my top three stories in any media, of any video game, of any movie, of any book. It's honestly that good. So, to have Joel die in the first two hours is truly painful. And more when we thought we were going to get more of Joel during the game. We thought that he probably was going to die at the end, and we were going to get a satisfying story with Joel and Ellie. But this game is actually the type of game that Neil Druckmann said it was going to be back in 2016, which is a complete opposite of the first game. The first game was about love, this game is about hate. And it's actually that. 
This just shows that a lot of people were not completely prepared for the type of story The Last of Us Part 2 was going to be. And a lot of people will find so many other reasons why not to like this game, but we cannot deny that the actual reason why people did not like this game was Joel dying in the first two hours, which is understandable, but also dying in the hands of a character that nobody knew. And it's just something that did not sit right with people. People felt disrespected and just did not want to open their eyes to different perspectives. And that's the thing, this game is about perspective. We think that the characters that we adore, that we like, that we play as, are all good. But at the end of the day, it teaches you that it's not always like that because the person you're killing or the thing that you do can affect the lives of other people. And this game truly shows you by actually taking the life away of somebody that you truly adore, in this case, Joel. And honestly, not a lot of people were prepared to see that and as fast as it happened. So yeah, I mean, we cannot deny Joel dying is the reason why people hate this game and it's understandable but let's just not deny that that's the ultimate reason why when this game got leaked everyone was making fun of abby making it seem like naughty dog was just trying to say that women are good men are bad so it shows you how much joel's death affected the minds and just the way people viewed the last of us part two and honestly if we deny that that is not the fact that there's so many other things why we hate this game and we don't put this as the number one reason why, then, well, we're truly blind because that's exactly why this game is hated so much. End of story. Now, if you have any other reasons why people might dislike this game, let me know in the comment section down below. I'm a human being and I make mistakes and I sometimes forget, so let me know in the comment section down below and let's have a great conversation down there. Also, I just want to say that even though you and I might not agree if you're watching this video, if you dislike this game or like this game, I respect your opinions 100%. But if you're going to just abuse me or just going to abuse anybody who has different points of views in the comment section down below, then honestly, you're the type of person that I am talking about, the scummy person. Please don't do that. Make sure you understand that at the end of the day, everyone has an opinion and everyone should be respected for what they believe in. So let's try to have a good conversation. Let's try to put a little bit more positivity into this. It's not a big deal. Okay, thank you so much for being respectful, guys. Remember to subscribe to my channel before you leave for more The Last of Us content and more gaming content coming your way soon. And hit that notification bell so you can get notified on my future videos. And also destroy that like button because it truly, truly helps the channel out a lot. In my next video, I will be talking about why people love The Last of Us Part 2. So stay tuned for that. Stay positive, stay safe, keep playing, and I'll see you guys next time.